love just about the setup here is to get your feet really close together. A lot of times people with chipping, they, they have their feet too wide. And yeah, it, like this, they get, they get too wide and yeah. these are, you're, you're, you know, you can almost put your little ankle bones together when you're chipping. Yep, so here's my feet just like this, right? And now, if I'm like what I've observed in all the pro-ams and playing with my buddies and stuff is they get all their weight back here on their right side and they try to lift this ball. See it? And they flick at it and they hit it thin, scoop it, maybe hit it fat, all those things. Now, if I get it correctly, and this is the beauty of this, and I get my weight just over here on my left, right? And I get tilted just a little bit over here. In fact, I almost feel like I'm in front of it. I'll be able to compress that thing just like that and the ball start to shoot up. Utilizing the loft versus like trying to help it. Right? And you guys will get that instant feedback. You'll stand on the board and you'll go, my, I've never been that far on my left foot chipping before. No. Just right when you stand on it and you're gonna hit that first chip shot and it'll be solid. Yeah, and wa it. watch one more. So let's just say, as I start to aim the face a little bit differently, right? It doesn't change. Like you might think, oh, I wanna hit one up in the air. Okay, now I'm aiming a little bit more left, right? Because my face is open. So I'm trying to get my face approximate to, to where my target line is. So here we go again. Now, so I put my weight back over here. I shift my weight, open up the face, and now the ball comes up. So it had nothing to do with, I, I utilized the chipping plate just the same. I just opened up the face and the ball started to elevate. So there's so many different things that you can do with the chipping plate to explore new boundaries with, with your short game. All right, so Amy's going to talk about a couple different ways to use a chipping plate in terms of trajectory, maybe a couple ball positions. We're going to keep this really simple for you. This little chipping plate right here is going to keep it simple. But a couple ball positions, maybe when you shift your baseline or something to get a couple different trajectories. Yeah, so when you guys are getting on this for the first time, your, your body's going to feel like it's in a different place than it usually is because if your weight's back here, that ball's going to feel more forward than if I get it over here. I'm a little bit more in front of that ball, which is good. It's going to help us get hit down on it and loft the ball up in the air. So just for like a basic ball position, let's just say I'm just inside my right foot here. You can, you can change that up for different shots, but this would just be kind of a square face, a little bit lower shot. So you're definitely going to feel like your weight's left and you're in front of that thing a little bit. It's going to help you hit down. And then if we wanted to hit a little bit higher, like Brian said, I'm going to aim my feet to the left a little bit, but I'm going to get my face square to my target. So now I've got more loft right there. I might move the ball a little bit more forward with this shot, but still somewhat in the back of my stance. We don't yeah, need to get you, it up you here. You might go to middle. It's just different when you start to shift your baseline a little bit. It's probably approximately the same. It just feels a little bit different. Yeah, so you'll just mostly explore just changing your face a little bit to create different shots, but not changing your weight distribution throughout the shot. It's still going to stay on your front foot. We'll just play with that face, face angle at address. The biggest benefit is this of this whole thing is keeping your motion the same, keeping your weight the same, fractionally changing your ball position but keeping it the same, and starting to utilize the loft to get your trajectory versus you trying to help it. And this is what that little chipping plate is going to emphasize. I think you guys are going to instantly be better short game. We've talked about how it helps keep the weight forward, and there's two things that we kind of see here in the golf farm when where people start to struggle with their chipping, and one is that they don't get their weight far enough on their front foot, which we've talked about. The other one is when that happens and the body stops, the club flips, and we get really bad contact. So we're going to talk a little bit about how the body can kind of support our chipping motion. Brian's going to give me some practice swings here because if you guys just watch how nothing stops moving, everything's moving together with him, and this is what you see with really good, really good tour players, good short game. Everything's kind of moving together. Or, especially if your weight's back, which you guys usually are a little bit more like this, and you're trying to flick it, you see how nothing's moving, right? This is already going to give you kind of a little bit of energy to like, see how I keep moving? Keep moving the club. Don't let it stall and flick. So you got to get some rotation in there as you're moving forward, and you'll be able to support the club so it isn't kind of overtaking your handle. Yeah, if you guys put those things together using the chipping plate, you're going to have a lot better results.